Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Drea from Lake Crochet. If you like what you see, please, please, please like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. All right, let's get right into it. Oh, look at that sun. The sun came right out on me. Perfect. All right, so the long, long, long awaited Taylor Swift Granny Stitch inspired dress, okay? I am wearing mine today, um, despite the fact that I have not um attempted to cut the ends yet we are still rocking her okay this is not the finished look obviously i just wanted to show off so this tutorial will be same dress but i'm going to make one for my daughter in a different color so we can be cute rocking this dress together on the beach while we're on vacation okay so the colors that she chose for her look was this light pink white hot pink and like a magenta purple okay so these are my colors that i'm going to be using to recreate this look for her as you can see um the design on this dress where i'll just insert tailors you can look at mine too for reference um there's like a pattern of every other every other with two colors so for that i'm going to do the hot pink and the light pink for where i have my brown and yellow that's going to be that. And then I'm going to do one, two, three, three white and two purple. Okay, so that's the design. So I'm going to start with my pink. For this tutorial, I will be using a 6.5 millimeter hook, some scissors, and I already showed you the yarn. Okay, so we are going to be starting with a slip knot. And really quickly, um, the dress is very simple. It's simp like the construction of it is simple. It's made of panel, panel, sleeve, sleeve. Now, if some of y'all watched the video that came out before this, the making of the dress, my first attempt, just raw footage of me trying to figure it out, with no plan whatsoever, I did not make that dress in this order with pan. The way I'm about to show you, I didn't make this dress this way, but the same, it's gonna have the same outcome. It's, I just was all over the place. So go back and check that video out. Um, for this dress, it's going to be front panel, back panel, sleeve, and sleeve, okay? So, we're going to start working on um, either one of the panels so that, cause, because they're going to mi mirror each other, okay? So, um, to measure yourself for this dress, I did from shoulder to wherever you want your dress to stop, okay? So, this is for my daughter. I did from her shoulder to, like, right above her knee, and um, I have a little piece of string to measure how long I need my chain okay so I'm going to count up until I get to that amount of chains okay so the length for her is looking about 60 so I'm chaining up uh, 60 chains okay and it's going to go from her shoulder to above her knee so let's start there we're going to go back down the row with the granny stitch okay now being so i'm using me in particular you can use whatever size hook you want you know i always stick to my five millimeter but i like the way this stitch like it's kind of like a puffy it's like cozy i like that stitch so i use the bigger hook if you were using a five millimeter hook i would do a, a standard granny square stitch of three double crochet into the same stitch being so i'm using a bigger hook i'm only going to be doing two double crochets into the same stitch okay so we're going right back down our chain of whatever your length from shoulder to wherever you want it to stop is we're going right back down with well first off we're going to skip the first one two three we're going to go into the fourth chain from the hook with a double crochet and we're going to go into the same stitch with another double crochet and then we're going to chain one okay we're then, then going to skip one two and we're going to go into the third with a double crochet and then another double crochet and then we're going to chain one so that is the pattern okay it's two double crochets and two every third stitch okay guys i've made it to the end of my row with my granny stitch and i'm going to be switching to my second color for my pattern so um what would have been my brown is going to be my hot pink so i don't know if this is a hack or not y'all know i'm always saying hack and then i'm like maybe been people been onto it when i don't do like my foundation of like a like i have a comfort zone where i do a foundation a foundation of like 
half double crochet down the row. Anytime I start from like a granny stitch and my stitches all wobbly and I want some stability and it also helps me with alignment, I crochet the second round. I, I flip it upside down and I crochet back down the row on the bottom with the same stitch. But for some reason, it just like helps me with alignment and the sturdiness because I have an issue with um, tension sometimes, even after all of this. So I don't want my to be like all scrunchy. I like it to be straight. So you do not have to do what I'm doing. I'm just crocheting. I'm starting from the bottom because it helps me as a me thing. All you'll be doing is going right back into the next, you know, inserting your hook into the next round and getting ready for the next round of granny stitch. But I'm just letting you know what I'm doing in case um, anybody want to try it if they're struggling with the same thing. All right. So that's just my little spill. I attach my yarn for my round two. And I'm just going to chain up one and two, and it'll act as my first double crochet. I'm going to put another one into that same stitch. And I'm going to chain one. And I'm going to go into this little centerpiece in between my double crochets with two double crochets. One and two. Chain one. Go into the next space, two double crochets one and two chain one and we're just going to repeat this all the way down the row okay that's our granny that's our granny stitch two double crochets chain one all right and then we'll be back this is going to be so cute i'm loving the colors already okay guys i've reached the end of my hot pink and now I'm going to chain my one, go into this last double crochet, two double crochets, chain up one, two. No, no, I'm not chaining up one, two. I'm taking it out to change my color, actually. That's what I would do normally, but we're going to chain to cut off. Boom. And guys, this is this. We're starting this, okay? So all we're doing is repeating this pattern, the granny stitch all the way down for the amount of rows that it would take you to go from your shoulder to, you know, from inside to the outside of your shoulder, your shoulder to your neck, okay? Because then we're gonna break it down to start our scoop neck, okay? So we are going to measure, or measure it on yourself wherever you need it to stop, okay? I'm gonna do my designated amount of rows and I'll let you know how many that is. And um, yes, that's what we're doing. We're crocheting around the amount to get to the inside of our neck, okay? Okay guys, so for example, I did one panel already. So this is ultimately what we're gonna have. So when I say crochet over from your shoulder to the inside of your neck, <laughs> no, no, it's all crazy. Um, to this portion is because we're going to create a dip in the dress, okay? So that means we're ultimately ultimately going to be going down a few of these stitches to create this part all right if that explains it better so i am done i'm to the point of lyric dress where it's time to start her dip in the neck all right so if i measured this to lyrics um neckline i had to go down five granny stitches so one two three four five and i'm going to be inserting my hook here so that we can create that dip okay and then all we're doing is going right back down the row with the same pattern okay so i'm going to insert here and the pattern is going back to my pink hot pink pink hot pink type deal so i'm going in with my light pink all right chain it up one chain it up two and we're repeating the pattern y'all <laughs> we're going right back down with our double crochet granny stitches Chain a one in between, and then I'll meet you at the end of the row. All right, guys, so I'm done. That first row where we did like a, I guess, decrease for the neckline. This is what you should have where I skipped. This is her shoulder to neckline. This is gonna go, we're gonna crochet. I'm gonna move my hair. How y'all feeling the curls? I love them. So, you know, her shoulder down and across however many rows it takes you to get right back here and then we'll meet back here okay so we're going to do our centerpiece from shoulder to shoulder okay 
our centerpiece, then we're going to do our shoulder to shoulder. Y'all get what I'm saying? Finish the middle. <laughs> All right, guys. So I'm done the center of her dress. And now it's time to start building back to her shoulder. Um, let's not forget this. It's like a stretch to it. So it looks pretty small, but it's honestly not. Um, so we have to build up the neck by counting up the stitches that we have along here. So, um, okay. So um, what I was saying was you're going to be counting up your neckline to see how many stitches you have to do. So... It's white yarn. Oh my gosh. You're literally going to be counting every little stitch to see. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 stitches up. Okay. That's just to put in your back pocket because we're not even going to start from here. We're going to start from the bottom of our row. Okay. We're going to start from the bottom of our row. Insert in our new color or whatever you're using. Okay. Attaching it and we're going to chain up two one and two all right we're going to go into the same stitch with another double crochet chain one and we're going back into our mesh stitch until we get to this point all right all right guys so i'm now at the end of my row okay i am now going to chain up my 15 or whatever um amount of stitches you counted from here up um, mine's with 15. I'm going to go up with my 15 now. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. All right. We're then going to turn our work. And this is similar to the do rag tutorial. A lot of people had an issue with um, that whole process. So, let me slow that down again now that I'm thinking about it. So after we went back down our row, you know, we have to build our neck. And we I told you guys that we're gonna, you know, count our stitches from this side and make it identical. So I chained up the amount so that we can chain back down this row to get this pretty much, okay? So after I did my chains, <laughs> I turned my work so that we can work back down this chain and it's gonna naturally attach back to your work, okay? making sure that your chains are facing upward whatever way these chains are facing it's the same way these need to be facing so that your work is not going to be like you know lopsided or or shifted or upside down whatever the case may be okay so i'm going to make sure my stitches are upright and then i'm doing the same exact pattern okay mm, itch the same music pattern of skipping and going into my third chain one two third with my two well with my yeah two double crochets sorry and chain one and then i'm skipping and skipping and skipping and i'm doing the same thing until we get to this point all right guys so next we have approached this part where we are supposed where we should be going right back into our project with a granny right so we chain we did our stitches back down our row and we're gonna do our double crochet into our first square two of them and then we're gonna do our chain and then your work is automatically back on to your dress and we're going to finish these rows just like that now that is the way we are um that is the way one way to attach it right but my yarn is so like i love the i love the um the stitch and the hook i use because it's like very like forgiving and lenient and i can like move it however i want so just to show you guys what i'm going to do just to make my rows even i am going to instead of um going into the work and going back down i want my panels to be even with the one two three four so i'm going to attach this to this and then that'll be one row and then it'll be one two three four so by doing it i'm just going to flip so naturally we'll be working this way and i'll be going down but i'm not going to do that i'm just going to turn my work upside down rather really really a hack you do not have to do this skip this part if your yarn is not doing what mine is doing i'm just seeing an opportunity and i'm just going to take it so wait my double crochet fell out let me chain i'm going to turn my work upside down and attach it 
with a slip stitch to this first double crochet. You see? And now that's just one row. And then I'm gonna do my second, third, and fourth, and then boom. So either way works, all right. All right, guys, so now I'm just going right back down with the rest of my rows, okay? I have one, two, three, four. I have three more white to do. And then I'm going into my purple and then my last round. So pretty much making it mirror our first panel. All right. So I am here in the project. I need to get one, two, three more white done, two of whatever other color, and then end it with my pink. And then this panel will be done. All right. So that's what we're doing. I'll be back after we're done this panel. All right, I'm done both of my panels. All right. I'm just going to line them up. Front and back. And voila. All right, so this is for my daughter. This is the front and the back panel. We are just going to now stitch the shoulders, both shoulders, okay? I do not have a needle to crochet this through to like stitch it. So I'm just gonna use my hook with a single crochet with whatever color you choose. I'm gonna use white because I'm gonna like that pop of white and then the neckline, like mine is orange, hers is gonna be white. Just to give the pink a break. So I'm just gonna stitch across with a single crochet across the shoulders to connect the two panels together. One thing I will say about this dress, the, the worst part about it is all the, because of the color changes, all the different um, strands of scrap yarn. So like realistically, I don't even know if I'm gonna cut all of them off of the one I'm wearing. And I don't know if I'm gonna cut all of them off of here because I don't know if I wanna go that far. They're already burning me out. All right, guys, so this is what we have once the shoulders are attached. All right. Voila. Put that back. So next is the arm part. So we are going to be stitching the same way, single crochet or if you have a needle, however you want to do it, the bottom to the opening part for where we want our arm to be. You know the crazy part is, about this tutorial is being a tool for my daughter. She would honestly love for this dress to be sleeveless. I'm more than sure. So it's just like, and I made the sleeves for her. So I have to put it together in the spirit of things, but likely I'll be taking them back off, but I will do them with y'all. Um, so what we're doing, cause I, I just had to add it to say I could be done right now, but no, um, I'm going to insert my hook and go up the side of the dress. With a single crochet. Oh, no, I want to use pink. Pink. All right, and let's just close this up on the side with a single crochet going up right into wherever you measure you want your arm to be, okay? So, I'll be back at the end of the row after I'm done all my single crochets down the row to close on our side. All right, guys, so I crocheted up to where I want her arm part to be, and I'm about to attach my first sleeve, okay? These are the sleeves, okay? The sleeves are worked the same exact way we've done this dress. Um, my sleeves are already done. In order to measure them, we're going to be measuring from shoulder to wherever you want it to stop, wrist or wherever, okay? And you're going to chain that mini mount and go up and down until this thing wraps around your arm, okay? And you can close it. That's what you want to do. Or if you want to add another row, do it for like this loose fill. It's all up to how you want your sleeve to go, but my sleeves are done and I will be attaching them now with a simple single crochet as well. So I um, crochet to the point of where I want my sleeve to be. I'm now going to just close in my sleeve by gathering here and stitching down the sleeve with a single crochet. Same exact thing. Okay, so I'm just closing my sleeve, my sleeve so I can attach it. And I've attached them without doing this part first, but I'm finding it's easier for me now, okay? 
All right, guys, so I stitched up the side of my sleeve. It's closed in, all right? I'm now going to attach it to the dress. All right, so. My way of doing it is kind of kooky, I think. Another thing that's gonna be hard to explain, but I don't carry stitch markers as much as I should. So I use my scrap yarn for a lot, right? So in order for me to get these level, as to how I want them to be. I'm just going to use the scrap yarn from here. Okay. I'm just going to tie it to here. Anchor it to where I'm about to sew it down at. So, all I did was just use that scrap yarn that's attached to here and slide it through where I'm going to ultimately sew anyway. And just tied it with a piece of scrap yarn. Boom. So that's sturdy. That's attached to there, right? It's just a little method I use. Same thing with the bottom, just so that you're making sure your work isn't moving as you're trying to sew it down there and you making sure that your stitches are going to be aligned. It's literally just a stitch marker and I'm doing the same exact thing with the bottom. I'm using these scrap pieces of yarn. Obviously, if you have um, stitch markers, do it. I'm using my scrap yarn to attach it to where I'll be ultimately sewing anyway. And then I anchored my sleeve where I can stitch away. You feel me? Let me know if that was a hack or not. So now that they're attached like this, it's easier for me to put them together to sew, okay? So if you can see what I did, I'm just gonna kiss these together so I can sew it around and vice versa. All we're doing is stitching this around to the sleeve, all right? <laughs> all right, guys, so this is pretty much the finished product, okay? This is what you should have after you've attached your arm to your sides and these strays are about to get on my nerves i'm absolutely about to cap this off with a trim i'm thinking pink at first i said white but i'm gonna do pink i'm gonna do the pink i'm gonna do purple purple trim around the neck and around the bottom and yes this is the tailor dress all done guys so thank you so much for watching i hope it was easy for you to understand and thank you for rocking out with me since the bloopers but it is done another one is done another one is done all right so you will see the finished product and some future content but yes this is the dress let me know how it turned out for you guys